Hello everyone, I'm back and today we're building a rural family cottage and surprise surprise this is a build that is based off of somewhere I went in real life <laughs> and I don't know I just thought it was kind of sweet like building I've kind of not been able to recreate it perfectly I mean it's pretty hard to do that in general in the sims but yeah this is kind of the the downstairs basically is like way bigger than it was in real life like the proportions of the rooms to the point where like I'm just not used to filling rooms that size they're not even that big they're not even that big rooms really but yeah I don't know they just felt quite empty <laughs> but anyway I kind of had they had basically the downstairs had to be fairly big to be able to fit the upstairs because the upstairs is like in the roof if you see what I mean it's like one big and it's got a big dormer with the windows and obviously in the Sims, like, I could have more space in the actual roofs themselves. Like, you could make it playable. But I just, I don't know, I've always found it annoying with the, you know, like, if you have the, you have to have the walls completely down to be able to then use that space. Or, like, to be able to see in to use that space, if that makes sense. So, I just wanted the usable space upstairs to be in actual rooms, if that makes sense, in the roof. So, yeah, it just kind of limited that because the downside needs to be fairly big so the roof is big so then you could fit a box in it do you know what I'm saying anyway so and and obviously in real life the upstairs was way bigger because it went into the eaves and like it's just easier to do that in real life than in the sims so yeah the upstairs is kind of small I think there's only two bedrooms upstairs um and then there's a bedroom downstairs as well so this is only actually a three-bedroom house even though the, the living space is huge but yeah, the, the the bedroom downstairs for sure is like massive and you could split it, I suppose, if you wanted it to be two. And you could split one of the upstairs bedrooms as well if you wanted two like smaller bedrooms. But yeah, I think the house that it actually is based off of had like, I want to say four bedrooms upstairs just because you could have them, you know, like within the roof, if you know what I mean. But anyway, um, this is kind of sweet, this, this place that I visited because this was a holiday house which some of my family stayed in and basically my nana was having a 75th birthday celebration and she decided to throw a pirate party basically for the children of the family so that it'd be like you know fun to dress up and like fun games that kind of vibe and yeah so they they were on holiday over her birthday so they decided to throw it while they were on holiday so it was at this holiday house if that makes sense so it was really nice to we only went there for the day because it was kind of close enough to us so we could go there for the day but yeah it was just nice to I don't know like go to a party like that I feel like I've not been to a party like that for like ever obviously because it's kind of like a kid's party but I don't know it made me think we need more fancy dress parties because I I had so much fun like rummaging through charity shops trying to find things that I could turn into a pirate costume and I was just like oh this is like this is a good idea like it's made me feel like I should throw some like I don't know themed parties but I don't know what themes but just I don't know I suppose they could, I mean Halloween's the obvious one but like yeah I don't know just yeah it was kind of fun and the kind of highlight I think for the kids was that there was a massive tree house in the garden which they decorated up to be kind of like well a pirate tree house is that a thing so so yeah so I had to I had to get a tree house in this build though it was a bit of a squeeze because this is a pretty big lot I'm building in Hemphill and Bagley and this is a this is a pretty big lot it's not it's not the biggest it's not 64 by 64 but it's pretty big I want to say 40 by 30 I could be wrong um maybe even bigger than that anyway and because basically this house was up on a hill and it looked, you know, it sort of just like came out of nowhere. Like there was just trees, you're driving through all these trees, the tiniest like track roads, loads of trees everywhere. And then, yeah, you just kind of turn a corner and it just opens out a little bit and you have this house, which is up on it. Like the road is down on the ground. Obviously it's on the ground. <laughs> but it's like the lower level and then the house is up on the hill that's basically like on the land that's going up it was in the Brecon Beacon so it's kind of like 
yeah, I don't know if that gives anyone any kind of like idea of the landscape and stuff. But anyway, so then this kind of opened out and then you had the house up at the top of this little hill and there was this kind of continuous steps up. Obviously in The Sims, you kind of can't do that in the same way. So I've just kind of got two sets of steps going up. But yeah, basically it was gorgeous. There was the steps going all the way up and then there was just long, like the road kind of turned off and it went like round up the hill and there was just this massive driveway. Like honestly, you could fit so many cars on this drive and I wanted to have that all in and in order to do that to kind of and it not be too like oh there's a massive hill out of nowhere like I kind of you know made it gradual so that the terrain didn't go you know like when you make a steep hill and then the terrain is like really strange so yes yeah, so you kind of needed a lot of space so actually in terms of space around the house and around this little hill was kind of limited and I needed fairly flat space to put the tree house because I've used the the like I want to call it like the pre-made tree house. I didn't make a tree house. I could have made a tree house, but there wasn't like crazy amounts of space. And I thought in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to use the tree house that we got with the growing together pack. And because I know as well, and this really like just was like the perfect thing <laughs> is that you can like the kid, you know, like when they're playing on the, on the tree house in um, live mode, they, can decorate it up and one of them is like pirate themed so it's really sweet you probably saw in the little video in the intro that the the little child was like playing on it like in pirate theme and I just thought I mean not I mean you know without this backstory it would mean nothing that there was pirate on there but I just kind of I didn't made me feel like warm inside that I could recreate that part of the like what this build is based off of do you know what I mean anyway so yeah so I put a little tree house out the back it's kind of tucked away can't really see it from the front I, again I tried to put as many trees as I can around the lot because it was nestled in trees but I was limited because of the terrain and I don't like using mods so I wasn't using tool mod or anything but I just didn't want floaty trees you get a lot of floating trees when you have a hill like this so I just kind of use the trees that don't float as much I find debug float like crazy but obviously if you use the ones in the actual build by menu then they don't really float but yeah, just, just, just with the space we had, just kind of did what I could, do you know what I mean? Just, just did the best we could, you know, because that's what we can do on The Sims, because we are limited by the limitations. And I also, my, the, the, the other thing I did to, like, kind of create the idea that there is more trees around, is I just sized up a load of trees, which I thought would look kind of weird, like, I'm really, obviously, like, these trees are, like, too big to be here, but it kind of worked, kind of, like, blended in, so I've left it as it is. And then, yeah, just sort of like, I spent a lot of time on the landscape of this lot. Even when you look at it, really, it doesn't look like there's much. Do you know what I mean? I just, I just, I've got to make the grass look not pristine. Like, I can't deal with pristine, pristine grass because grass is not pristine. I mean, in some places it is, but like in general, you know, it's like got different colouring to it, different texture to it. So I just like spent a lot of time doing that, if I'm honest. We're on the inside now and this is basically I realised now when I started building this that, that the room's huge and this is going to be like I've never made a hall that big I mean it's not that big but you know like it just feels so luxurious like to be able to have all that space for storage think of how many shoes you could keep in your hallway if it was that big <laughs> but um I also settled on these doors which are basically the doors I use when I use like a taller wall height than the smallest wall height inside because there's just no like all the doors like all the interior doors look so small when you use any wall height bigger than the lowest wall height so it's got to be this door there is one other door that I sometimes use which is like more of an interior door because this is technically like an exterior door it's like a front door I think it's from the university pack but I've I often use it inside to be honest cause I think it kind of works the only way it doesn't work is obviously if it's into a bathroom because it is like glass but I kind of ignore that and I just like see through it and just you know pretend it's not like that but anyway so because otherwise it just the doors just look like so small like it just yeah it looks weird but anyway it kind of works for this build it's a very old cottage so I wanted to try and keep some oldest features it was really tastefully done on the inside obviously it was very unpersonalized because it is a holiday house and I kind of like a rental lot so I've stuck to that it's not for a particular family. Obviously, you could change it up 
however you want. You can make the room smaller. You can do, I mean, you can do whatever you want with it. So it's kind of like old schooly modern, you know, that tasteful kind of, I don't know, just like nice, you know. So I wanted all kind of original looking floorboards throughout. And originally I used this floor, which I often use, even though it's from the, it's from that like spooky pack we got that. Like, it's like quite small and it's really old now, that pack. And often like older items can be a bit more kind of not like as detailed, I want to say, like a bit more... Yeah, that's the only way I can kind of describe it. But this floor, I actually think it's quite nice because the panel, like the planks aren't perfectly straight. But I do end up changing it because it just, just I don't know, the colour's just a little bit off for me. You know what I mean? I don't know, it's just a bit too light. So I end up changing it for this one, which is also another nice kind of like old original floorboardy type flooring, if you know what I mean. So yeah, so I go for like a nice shaker kitchen and I do like my favorite thing in the world and I put the ovens in what looks like it would have been an old fireplace even though it's kind of a random placement for a fireplace but in my mind these these this sort of kitchen area and then the kind of living space in the kitchen area like off the kitchen area you can't see it yet I've not done it yet but basically like the space behind would have been two rooms and I've separated it with like a beam to show like that's where they've knocked down the wall and then they've put a beam in for structural support but yeah, so it would have been, in my mind, this would have been two rooms. So this could have been like a back cosy room with a fireplace. There probably would have been a fireplace in most of these rooms, but some of them I've not kept just because, well, just because of window placement, if I'm honest. But, because I put a lot of windows, quite a lot of windows in this house. But, but yeah, so I'm trying to keep like that vibe going, which is kind of, I mean, what you'd expect, you know, from a place like this. I don't know, like it's not, super super modern but it's not like really old it's like nice and comfy you know but like look how much space is around these sofas like this is so crazy to me like I just I don't know I didn't know what to do with myself to be honest especially in the lounge which we whizzed through but I put a massive L sofa in there and it took me ages to do that sofa I cut a lot of it because I spent so long faffing with the layout of that sofa because I it was just such the space like I just <laughs> I just was like I need a big sofa to fill the space but some of the layouts I did just like felt wrong like it just didn't work so yeah it took me a while to decide on that and then this utility room <laughs> this utility room is like so I mean it's bigger than it's just massive it's really really massive this is totally not what it was like in the original place I visited 100% it was big don't get me wrong but yeah this is like super super luxurious but it's kind of nice it's got loads of space for you to like wash and like I don't know do your ironing or whatnot in there like you could do anything in there really it's kind of good um also guys I don't know if anyone's noticed but I am doing this voiceover in a different room because I felt like my voiceover was getting so echoey um the room I've been doing it in is where I've got a table but there's not it's in my kitchen so it's not like super you know there's not like soft furnishings in there so it's just like bouncing off the walls basically my voice so it's just like echoing so I'm doing it in the lounge which is quite nice because I'm just sat here on my sofa hopefully this <laughs> hopefully it all sounds all right but um yeah I'm just hoping that it's a bit softer in here to be honest it's still not crazy like I just feel like I mean, it's better than the kitchen because we've got cushions and sofas and stuff, but we don't have curtains. So, like, we have blinds. So, so I don't know if that's gonna... I don't know, we'll see. There's a nice big rug in here, though, so that will help. So, yeah, so fingers crossed this, this voiceover is sounding, like, not as echoey and maybe a bit nicer. But, yeah, so this is the first bedroom, as I was saying, which is on the downstairs stairs which is it's huge I end up putting two single beds in here in my mind this is where like two kids can sleep obviously any combination of people can come and stay here I actually thought this kind of house although with the tree house obviously that gives it that kind of like you know family children vibe to it but actually if it had like a hot tub or something this would be like quite a cool place for like a load of adults to hang out you know like maybe like a meetup maybe like even like a hen do maybe I don't know do you know what I mean like a house where you could go for a holiday with your mates you haven't seen for a long time because it's just so big and it's like 
I don't know, it just gives like, it just feels like a nice place to go and yeah, just, just spend some time like in the countryside because opposite it was just like big open fields where I guess I'd be like animals and just kind of like nature and just, yeah, really peaceful. Like the nearest house to it would be really, really far. So you can kind of make as much noise as you want. You're not going to have any issues with that. So it's just kind of worked, you know, for like a variety of occasions. But most definitely for a pirate party. It's kind of sweet because she never really had a party before. Obviously it was a big age, like a big, big birthday this year. But if, I don't know, I think it's kind of inspired her to throw some more parties. So it's exciting. Maybe, maybe I will be going to more fancy dress parties. Maybe there'll be another one next year for the children that I'll be able to like you know get in on and dress up (laughs) to anyway I will leave you with some screenshots and see you in the next one bye